<laughs> I'm a little bit jealous. I'm not allowed to say hi to other dogs. So this door is from over there. And I think they moved it over here because they want to knock down this little structure and that little wall there. But they haven't knocked it down yet. I love my little snookums. And they've removed the steps here, so... Look at this naughty dog. Oi! Naughty dog. Um, yeah, so no steps up to there. Emma tried jumping from here, but she did not make it. <laughs> Poor Wuffets. And they still need to clean this up, but nobody here today. Uh, Tanka still has a back injury and Ivan, I think he's also taking a rest because he's got a painful knee because he fell into that cesspit. Um, he's going to trim the roses, he said, and he's also going to trim all of the vines. I'm not exactly sure when he said, maybe day after tomorrow, so maybe like tomorrow now because he said that yesterday. Maybe. Um, I cannot finish the door sanding, although I got the, the right sanding paper now, but basically the electricity has been cut here because somebody said that the electricity company was in the village doing work. <laughs> so with this illegal hookup, it's better to cut it if they're in the area. So no work today. Just going to hang out with Emma, who is playing with that other neighbor dog, and that's it. So this is the view that I think is absolutely amazing. Really hazy sun today. And soon this is going to be a green carpet of vine leaves. Pretty beautiful. And that's the view from the conservatory. So sitting in there. You'll just be looking over the green vine leaves and, yeah, green trees, clouds, it's beautiful. So this is a new view of the property. I've climbed up on a little wall, top of the garage. And Emma, oops, and the beautiful roof. Oh my gosh, that roof is stunning. So you can see, this is the good roof and that's where they stopped working. So that'll have to be done at some point. But the house is good, so that's all right. Here's a couple of buds coming out already. This is one of the trees along the driveway. Not focusing so good. There you go. Yeah, so that's a interesting. There's two of them. They look exactly the same, but I'm not sure what type of trees they are. Um, I think I'll only know once the leaves are actually out, so I can also focus on them better. <laughs> Camera's not focusing right now. And then this one is different. Camera's not doing a great job on focusing today. I think it's, the background is just a bit too wild. There we go. It's a tall one. Really tall. Hmm. And then this is the apple. I'm not seeing any sprouts on this one. This whole thing might be dead. But we'll see. And then that's the walnut. Uh, no idea what that is. And I think that one down there might be a dogwood. Or a beech. Yeah. Um, apparently this little tree, it's a peach, beach, beach, peach, <laughs> and there's also a cherry over there. Yeah, pretty great. So I've sort of just broken into this property by walking onto it. There wasn't any fence, so meep. And look at that. Wow, pretty ceiling. Very cool. Steps, very dilapidated. Oh, this is a really great space. It's completely open, deserted. Um, it's a really beautiful view. This is a stunning spot. 
Oh, and look at this. We've got a couple of little, I guess, apple blossoms. Cherry blossoms. Beautiful. Oh, this is a massive fig tree. Whoa. This must be one of the biggest fig trees I've ever seen. Wow. Oh, and this is a pomegranate tree. Pomegranate, fig, mm, apple or something. Wow. Oh, that's a cherry. That's a cherry over there. That's a cherry tree. Oh, wow. Beautiful. Oh, this is a beautiful space. And it's totally um, neglected and empty. So that means I could probably come and get some of these figs. <laughs> Apples, cherries. It's my neighbor, by the way, just across the road. So this is very good news. Emma has come exploring with me. So this is the view from that property. It's amazing. This is it. I've just been through that gate and up um, onto the patio. Uh, this is how I came in. There's no fence here and that's my neighbor's wall and I'm just behind there. And these guys have a massive barn all the way down there. <laughs> yeah, these are all rose hips or rose bush, wild roses. Ah, <sighs> good view this one. Okay, so this is my property there. And... That's Paul's car. And this is the property I was just looking at from the other side. And look, you can also get in from here. Emma's going to demonstrate. <laughs> Yay. So, pomegranate tree. Pomegranate tree there for next year. And it looks like the weather is rolling in. Feels like rain. I think we'll go for a little walk. Okay, so this is the gate to the fields, and that's my house. Gate. Fields. Oh, and a lake. Nice. It looks like a dam. Cool. And a donkey. loves these brooms. <laughs> it's her new favourite toy, I guess. Are you bringing the broom? Is it coming with? <laughs> yeah. She actually undid one of those ties. It's just black cloth and she's done, undone it and yeah, her new favourite toy, I guess. Hey Emma! Come on! <laughs> hey, hello. Who's pretty? Who's pretty? So I just got back to this. Meow, 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 meow. What's the meow, meow? Is it raining? Yeah. Hey, what's the meow, meow? Oh, and we've got thunder. Hi, hi. Is it time to go in? All right, come on, kittens. Let's go. <laughs> it's a race. Come on, Smudgy. And we're home. So I'm hanging out with Emma. Hello, Emma. <laughs> and um, Simeon came by and look at that. He did this. That heater was actually broken. Emma chewed through the cord and he just stripped the wires and hooked it up. So now I've got um, electricity going. I mean, heater going. And also he turned on the light. This light is very bright. It mm, needs some dimming, I think. 
it's very white, bright, white, bright. But heater, yay. And electricity, yay. So I'm gonna do some sanding. Emma found another dog over there and she made a big noise. So she doesn't actually like dogs that she doesn't know. And these guys are trimming up all of the vines, cutting them real nice. Um, these have already been trimmed. So basically you check if they're alive. And if they're alive, you take two nodes and then you cut um, off a big branch. So this is a new one from last year. This is old. So then one, two, cut. And then if it's dry, then you just trim it all the way back to where you find that it's still alive. So yeah, these guys are doing all the trimmings. They're gonna do the fruit trees as well. That's Emma protesting against another dog being in the area. And this is a little um, hoops for a tiny little, not greenhouse, but like a, I don't know what it's called. Emma, come here, come here, Emma, come on, what you doing? Come on, come here. Ruff. Is there another dog? You found another dog? Hey, eh? Good Buffy. Yeah, so lots happening today. It's gonna be good. This other dog does not mind that Emma is completely upset. <laughs> other dog is like, mm-hmm. Yep. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Emma is so upset. There's another dog. There's another dog. Oof, 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 oof. I wonder how long she's going to do this. <laughs> this dog is not going anywhere. <laughs> oh dear. Cool, so trimming, trimming, trimming. I wonder what tree this is. Kind of looks a little dead though. Uh, so Emma has now chased off the other dog. That's Emma. Emma's over there. And the other dog is Gunners. Emma has decided just to walk out of the fence and chase off the other dog. And now she's coming back. <laughs> Job done. Can't really see how she's getting through, but there she is. Hi, Emma. Oh, she's on a mission. <laughs> so cute. Unfortunately, this one is dry. It has died. So one of the vines has passed away, unfortunately. But most of them are good. Hey, Emma. She's very uh, energetic today, chasing all the dogs around. Oh, oh there's another dog here. Fantastic. <laughs> Fantastic. Emma, chase off this dog. Isn't that your job? Oh dear. So, yeah, so all these vines are still good. They're trimming them nicely. All right, so <clears throat> sanded. This is with a 40 grade sander round. And so this is after and before. Before and after. That's good progress. This only took me about, I don't know, three minutes. It's very good. Okay, guess what's being installed today? The kitchen. Kitchen is going in. Sink. Emma's bed is being moved. Not sure where Emma is, but kitchen is here. The washing machine. Okay. So all the um, plaster is being put above the trimmings today to seal off any gaps. And once that is done, then we can clean the floor. So, yeah, it's all coming along now. So in the conservatory, I'm working on the door today and being able to use a rough 40 grade is way faster. <laughs> so this is gonna go very quickly today. 
Uh, Simeon has already fixed up these um, holes and gashes in the wall with some plaster, so I'm gonna let that dry. And once that's dry, then obviously we can paint it, but looking great. Emma's back. I guess she chased off the other wolf and now she's thirsty. Um, unfortunately, a couple of these vines are no good. So, that one is no good. Uh, I think this one's fine. That one's definitely fine. That one's definitely fine. Fine, fine. Maybe dead. Um, this guy is fine. And I think that's it. Yeah, that's it. So, um, yeah, I guess I can just get a new one, I suppose. And then just... They grow quickly. They grow quickly. Let's see back here. Yeah, this one is dead. Um, that one looks fine. This one looks fine. Yeah, that one's fine. These guys are fine. Okay, so maybe just three or four casualties. I think this guy is also dead. Let's see. Oh yeah, let's... Oh, okay. Um, actually, I'm not sure. That looks fine. I guess this guy's okay. This looks really dead. But... That looks fine. So, great. <laughs> been sealed with plaster oh it looks really good and it'll be and now it needs to dry um, and then cleaned and then that also needs to be cleaned out there not a big mess so this looks so much better it had massive holes in it beforehand and now it's all filled in really nicely and this has been filled in, so the door is looking pretty good. Also, at this part has been filled in nicely. Door progress, door progress. Looking good. Okay, so door update. This is what I've just done. Still got a little corner to go. And this was the before. <laughs> so, before, after, before, and after. Looking better, 
much better. Okay, a couple of units already in. Very exciting. Sink is gonna happen soon. And Emma's outside. Look at that, it's all happening now. Oh, and there is, oh cool, okay, so the, um, I wanna call them floating units, not floating. The mounted uh, kitchen units are gonna be right above the uh, ones on the floor. I don't know if you can tell, just one small one there, another small one there, big one above the bigger unit. The cooker is gonna be over there. Looking good, looking really good. All of the shelves, and they are the units, that's the bigger unit, and here's one small unit, and there's the other unit, but that's a big unit. Oh, okay. So this is gonna be a big unit, small unit, and big unit. Oh, that's really cool. Yay. The cupboards are up. Look, looky, looky. Beautiful. Oh no! Wait, why? <laughs> it's supposed to be like that. Oh. Is it really? What a bizarre cupboard. Okay. Well, yeah, why not, I suppose. So, very interesting cupboard, that. And yeah, so they're all up now. Also, awesome. so the shelves are going to be there. Cooker here, so it has open space. And then sink over there with shelvies there. Awesome. Okay, so this is the wood that was used to secure these. With a, so it's a, it's a wooden plug. Okay. So it's not, it's not screwed into stone, but it's screwed into a wooden plug from there. Pretty cool. Uh, yeah, some screws as well. But not, not down here. We found this little guy. Here's Emmeline. Uh, she's playing with her purple toy. New favorite toy. <laughs> so here it's all smooth, smooth coat. And then here it's like a sheep. <laughs> it's like sheep wool on her back leg. Smooth. And smooth. Sheep wool. <laughs> Yeah, she's got sheep wool on her back leg. Oh, okay. Do you not like that? No. No touchy the sheep wool. <laughs> You're so cute. Hi, Emma. Okay, bye, Emma. So Jade is parked here now. And I think she's going to stay there until I move in. Because I'll be driving around in Paul's little car, which is cheaper to run around in. So yeah, this is her home for the foreseeable. This car has got cat paw prints all over it. <laughs> Look at that. Ah, so many. Okay, front door is done. Sanding is finished. And now I'm going to paint it with enamel and then with gloss afterwards. So I couldn't really get into these little gaps here, but I tried just with... Um, scrunching this up a little bit and then just getting in there and it's worked relatively okay it should be fine and the rest is pretty good emma is now tired after a very naughty day oh yeah that's how i feel <laughs> she's been super naughty today she's jumped up on this table you can see here she's done that quite a few times with muddy paws spilled the coffee pretty sure next time this cup is going to go flying Anywho, we shall see. Kitchen looking pretty amazing. 
the doors are on, all of the little cupboards now. The worktop still needs to come in and then the sink can go in there. This is for the cooker. You can see I've been painting. And the shelves are in, very sturdy, looking good. And uh, electricity works, <laughs> so that's pretty awesome. Um, cool, let's go look at the front door. So our front door has got one coat of emulsion on now. It looks really good. Um, it's not super smooth, but that's fine. It's just gonna have to be character. And the conservatory looks amazing when the sun shines in. It's such a good space. Um, I think I might do a little bit more, put a little bit more paint on there, just to try and smooth out as much as I can. And I am going to remove this um, concrete pole and also that concrete above the blue door is coming down at some point because I have to stoop over to get through that door every time and that's pretty silly. Um, I'm going to remove this metal. Uh, all of this metal stuff is going to come down. So all of the vines are going to stay on that side. And then there's not going to be any trellis above this walkway. All of this is going to be removed. And this branch is going to be cut here. Going to cut down that one because, again, I bash my head against this branch all the time. <laughs> it's pretty silly. Um, yeah, the old lady who was living here is very short, so it obviously didn't bother her. So I'm going to just clear all of this headspace here completely. And the vines will be lovely on this side, above the grass. So that's going to be great. Okay, so this is the music of the village. It echoes over the entire village because I guess it's sort of a valley that just kind of, I don't know, carries the sound. So we get to listen to this radio station and music for whenever they feel like broadcasting it. It echoes all the way to my house, is just behind there. So the whole village gets to listen to this. Great. Look where we are. Ta -da. Okay, so here you can actually rent these items. So for example, this is rental 30 per day and you have to pay a deposit of 400 lefts for that. You can rent a cement mixer, 30 a day, generators, pretty cool. And here they are, this is what they look like. So we found all the colors for the glass. This is going to be the floor color, a beautiful brown. I know they don't look the same because the light is just reflecting it funny, but if you check the numbers, they're all the same. So yeah, same color, floor. And I've got a white to finish the door and the window frames. And yeah, many other colors, but the red doesn't look so good. So I think I'm just going to stick to white and roller. Look, there's rafts here. I was looking at the mulch. I'm coming. I was looking at the mulch, which is 24, very expensive. And then I saw the rafts. <laughs> okay, so I've paid 309 loves for six square meters, just under six square meters for the bathroom. And this is for the painting done in the kitchen as well as the bedroom and some more paint for windowsills, a lock, cleaning brush, a foam roller, and a kitchen countertop. So, pretty good. Look, I have a countertop. Ta-da! That is an extra piece. And... Yeah, it's not yet uh, fastened, but this is how it's gonna look. Pretty good. It's very similar to this one that's gone out. Ta-da! And then the sink is gonna be put in there. Yep. Snowing. It's not super much, but pretty. Look at all those little roofs. Yay. Okay, so this 
so I've just cleared all of the rubble that was in there and there it is so now I get to sweep again guess what we've been doing today let's have a look in the kitchen wow look at that a whole new floor a whole new floor and clean chimney because I cleaned that out yesterday look at this floor though the heater is on, drying the floor. Oh, and also the sink is in. Look at that beautiful sink. Oh, wow, this is just looking so good. Isn't that beautiful? It's got little imperfections and that's wonderful because character, like that. Character. <laughs> Anyway, it's beautiful. Okay, so basically with this, you take a tin like this, and I've got an empty one. So you fill it a quarter full with thinner, and then you take a new paint, a full paint tin, and then you kind of just mix them in between each other. And then that way it mixes the thinners into the paint. And then you've got a good mixture of paint that will go onto trimmings or skirting and floor. This floor needs to, um, basically what I'm doing is I am cleaning the skirting from all of the extra plaster. And once that is done, I'm gonna sweep up. And once I've swept up, then I'm gonna mop the floor probably two or three times. And then I get to paint it. As you can see here, the skirting is not clean. There's plaster on it. It's easy enough to clean the plaster off, but it has to be done. So that's what I did over there. That needs to be done over here. Okay, so this is what the floor looks like currently. As you can see, I've cleaned up the side skirtings a little bit. And now I'm mopping it. So, mopping is happening. I'll probably mop it twice, or maybe three times. And then it's gonna look like this. I can't get over how beautiful this looks. Isn't that a beautiful floor? It's so pretty. Oh, I'm so happy. 